Welcome back. This is Mike again. And for this particular video, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over the uh, top toolbar and the left hand side toolbar. I went ahead and uh, loaded a different model here kind of uh, for your viewing pleasure. Um, first off, let's go ahead and start with the upper uh, toolbar here. Upper left hand corner, you have uh, open or actually create new project, close current project, save current project and then undo and redo. So I'm going to move the one of these toolbars here. Okay. Now, next one I wanted to go over are going to be your viewport um, modes. Now you have a flat mode, which comes in quite handy when you're just kind of looking at your uh, state of your uh, textures. You have a basic lighting mode. Now what the basic is, it's actually no specular at all but you do get the basic lighting. Now this last one here offers uh, specular as well. As you see, it's a little bit more shinier. And then now this last one here is going to be for your shadows. Now by default, shadows are not enabled. Now if for whatever reason that you want to enable them, all you have to go edit, preferences, and then go to duh. Let's see data let's go to gpu and then you go to allow depth projections now you do have a, res a depth projections resolution that you can uh, adjust and uh, depth projection uh texture array size and so forth okay we'll hit cancel okay moving on let's go ahead and go to the um selection modes Scoot this over. Okay, selection modes. Let's go ahead and pick our select tool. And the first one here is going to be your object selection mode. Let me scoot this stuff over here. Now, as I said before, that will uh, essentially select the whole object. Now, the next one's going to be patch selection mode. And I believe, let me look at the UVs here. Okay, this one as well is, uh, does have only one particular patch. But like I said before, if you have uh, many patches, you could, all you have to do is select one, hit the plus sign, create uh, your selection set from, a uh, from that particular patch. Now, the next one is going to be, uh, face selection mode. Now you do have uh, an option to do through selection or front. Also, you have a rectangle, rectangular selection, a lasso, and a um, smart selection mode. Now the rectangular, as I showed you before, and the lasso kind of does the same thing. You can uh, grow Grow your selection, shrink it, you can invert it, none, all, and so on. Like I said, the lasso is the same way. You can uh, grow it. Okay, get the idea. Now, the last one is the uh, smart selection mode. Now, this one is really handy. When you're trying to isolate particular parts of a model to where, you know, let's say it's a handle or whatever. I'm going to show you how to uh, isolate this, this handle here. And what it does, it just essentially uh, selects what is uh, connected to that particular mesh. Let me go to UV mode. And since I know the UV, these UVs, it's these. All righty, I think it is this one as well. Okay, since we have the handle selected, um, you can hit this plus sign, create your selection set. You can select it by left clicking it. You also can hide it. You can lock it. Also, when you select it, if I unselect it here. Okay, once you select it, you can right click 
and you can hide unselected to where you just want to work on the handles. You can hide so hide selected, show selected, show all, show entire object. Um, you can also lock, uh, you know, you can select all and uninvert kind of from this uh, right hand. When you right click the uh, viewport, it gives you a lot more options. You can export the channel and we got it. We'll get into channels and layers and shaders in uh, one of the other videos. But for now, I'm just going to briefly talk about it. You, re, uh, you can create patch and selection set and so on. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and move on. I will close that. Um, next one I wanted to go over is going to be. Um, let me see. Okay, your painting modes. Hit P to paint. And now if you had your brush editor open, you can, um, you know, select whatever brush, but also you have different painting modes, which is very similar to Photoshop. You also can, uh, if you have a tablet, you have pressure, sens pressure sensitivity for colors, alpha, radius, flow. Um, you can adjust your radius here, your opacity, and flow. Now also, if you hit and hold R down, dragging left and right, you can do your outer diameter. Hold the R down, go up and down, you do your inner, inner diameter of your brush. You also can, um, can't really show it on that particular brush. W, left and right, you can rotate it. And Q, you can squish the brush. So it's a couple little handy hotkeys there. And while I'm on hotkeys, you have K, which uh, let's say you have your palettes invisible. You hit K, these will be your brushes and your personal palette. You have L, which is going to be your image manager. You have J, which is going to be your uh, color picker, I mean color there. And then I'm going to get my palettes back here. Okay. Well, let's move on. Um, let me drag this one up here. Okay. So on your tabs here, you have your forms, projects, UV, ortho, perspective. Actually, ortho and UV, perspective, and ortho. Now, this particular toolbar here, you can turn on and shut off your UV, or actually your wireframe. You can, let me see, go to UVs, and see, essentially, this is like a mask in Photoshop to where you just see actually what you're going to be painting on and not the UV background. Um, let me see, whole patch project there. And then let me go back to ortho. You can change your camera. You know, let's say you wanted uh, ortho right here or UV. You know, it's it's pretty much all whatever. And you can change the tabs on your uh, viewports as well. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. This one here is going to be for uh, symmetrical painting. Um, Easiest way to show you is that red line. Okay. Now in your viewport, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And with the left to right symmetrical painting, as you let me go to paint, make sure I'm on the layer. Let's just create a new layer. And as you see, it's Painting everything I'm doing on the left side, it will do on the right side. Let me back up. Okay. And then you have uh, upper and lower, same thing. And also you have upper and lower. I mean, upper, lower, and left and right. So that may come in handy if you're doing more like, you know, like a face or something like that. 
more of a symmetrical object. Um, let me move on to this button right here. This is, let me shut this off here. This is going to be your uh, clear bake button. Let me go back to a layer. And now you're painting. Now before you bake it down, say, I don't like that. All you have to do is hit that button. It will clear your paint buffer. Now also, if you're on the manual mode, that will uh, come in handy as well because that will clear your paint buffer for you. After you click it. Um, this is one of the new toolbars here. Now you do have uh current paint actually what you're currently painting on let me go ahead and show you uh, let's see here now you have whole channel here which is going to be your whole channel you're going to have everything this next portion everything from that layer below and then you will have this particular layer and then Let's say you have a mask and you're working on a mask. Let me, I don't think I have one with a mask on this one. But let's say you're working on a mask. Matter of fact, I will just show you. 